in this video today, I'm going to show you two videos that will blow your mind. You want to succeed as an, a Christian entrepreneur. These scriptures will help you. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. When we return, I would show you the scriptures. And not just that, I'll pray with you so that you end the year divinely settled. Don't go away. chapter 9 verse 8 welcome back to lifeline with comfort lifeline and comfort is a program designed to equip inspire empower motivate you to awaken the giant within you and i promise to do it in three key areas in your faith in your family and in your finance in second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 the bible says something and god is able to make all grace abound when we talk of god's ability what does it mean it means god is powerful enough to make all grace, not some grace, not few grace, not financial grace and then health grace is not available. He said he's able to make all grace abound towards you as an entrepreneur that is serving God as an entrepreneur, that loves God as an entrepreneur, that is doing the bidding of the master as an entrepreneur, that understands that to excel, you are walking by the principles and the dictates of God. He said God is able to, to make all grace abound towards you. Glory be to God. If you go to the King James, more, make all grace abound towards you. That ye always, that means January, February, March, April, down to December. When December, we're getting ready to go into a new year. And the Bible is saying he's able to make every grace abound towards you. That you always having all sufficiency. There are words that are used here that should not be taken for granted. He said that you always. That means all the time. That means when it's raining or not. That means when there's recession or not. That means when you are in Nigeria or not. That means when you're in the United Kingdom or not. Where everywhere you go, you know, the kind of blessing the Bible calls the blessing of Abraham. He said that the blessings of Abraham may rest upon the Gentiles. That is the kind of blessing that knows no bound, that knows no restriction. He says he's able to make all grace abound towards you, having all sufficiency in all things. Now, let me show you another translation. Let me show you another translation that might blow your mind. Let me go to the Amplified. He said God is able to make all grace Every favor and earthly blessing, at the sound of my voice, I decree, before the year end, God will make every grace abound towards you. Earthly favor, earthly favor, every favor in your career, in your business, as a, an entrepreneur, a Christian entrepreneur, in the name of Jesus. He said, it's able to make earthly favor, every favor and earthly blessing, call in abundance to you so that you may always, listen to this, under all circumstances, regardless of the need, wherever you are, I'm praying for you that under every circumstances, as you march towards the end of the year, he will make his grace, his favor, abound towards you, rest with you, rest with your family, rest with your children, in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, regardless of the need. That means God is not making his grace available based on your need. It's regardless of your need. He's not making his grace available based on your, your finances or, or the money you can borrow. He is making it lavishly available. If you believe that, I want you many times to type amen. If this is your first time on Lifeline with Comfort, I want you to share this. Don't just uh, subscribe or like kindly make comments but not just that share to your friends this word is coming to you and it will produce results in the name of jesus he said having all sufficiency in everything being completely self-sufficient in him listen you know, the interesting thing is not just being self-sufficient somehow but in him there was a man i love to talk about so much daniel was sufficient in him when there was a decree do not pray to god he said ah, 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 ah. the god that can bring me into a foreign land and make me a great man Oh, how do I know? Daniel was a great man from the first day he came. He had the gift of interpretation of tongues. He had something that they didn't have. You may not have made headline, but there's something that God deposited inside of you that will gain expression after this broadcast in the name of Jesus. 
and Daniel walked with God and David walked with God. Abraham walked with God. Enoch walked with God. He did not encounter physical debt. I decree that there shall be no financial debt for you. There shall be no debt of any sort as you end the year strong in the name of Jesus. He said, you have complete sufficiency in everything. Being completely self-sufficient in him. That means you're not saying I can do all things by my strength. You are saying I can do all things. I can end the year perfect, better than I started. Through Christ that strengthens me. He said, and have in abundance for every good work and act of charity. That means you have enough that is not about your family alone. It's not about your loved ones alone this season. It's about even giving to others. The Bible said that we are lenders to nations. We are lenders to nations. That is your covenant as a child of God. And I pray that this scripture will be a reality in your life in the name of Jesus. Second power scripture. Markaba Sunta, 2 Corinthians 8, verse 10. The Bible said something that is rich for you to listen. It said, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, despite the fact that he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. Jesus was not poor. Don't let anybody tell you as a Christian you should be poor. I always say it that poverty is part of the causes of the law. The same way sickness is a cause. The same way disease is a cause. Misfortune and mishap, they are causes. That is how poverty is a cause. And I pray for you at the sound of my voice. You have escaped the very dart of poverty in the name of Jesus. For you know that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake, once you are saved, once you are saved for your sake, he became poor. Jesus went to the cross and took the position of defeat so that you are not defeated. He took the position of death so that you don't die. He took the looks of poverty so that you do not lavish in poverty. I pray that the finished work of the cross will be a reality in your life and you will progress, advance and return with your testimony. In the name of Jesus. He said he became poor so that you, through his poverty, might be rich. His intention is that you profit, you prosper. I did a video on how to save uh, to, to, to save some money. Uh, 100 days challenge uh, that I did. You're going to see it uh, up, you know, for you to click on half of you. But I was teaching how Jesus is interested in your finances. Jesus is interested in your wealth. The Bible said, true prosperity, my seed is spread abroad. You can't push the gospel further without prosperity. And so I pray for every entrepreneur. You might be in the realms of the hundreds, I pray, that God will push you into the thousands. You might be in the realm of the thousands, I pray, that God will push you into the tens of thousands. You might be in the realm of the tens of thousands. God will push you to the hundreds of thousands. You might be in the realm of the hundreds of thousands. God will push you to millions, from million to billion, in the name of Jesus. You will make headline for good. I decree and I declare in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please make sure you share your text testimony on comfortages at gmail.com. If you have not shared this video, come on, do that. Turn on your notification and see you next week. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.